Miss Stevens. Oh, Mr. Crane, you, you startled me. Well, I'm sorry. I just wanted to make sure everything went as planned. You were able to switch Fox's prescribed medicine for the placebo? You know, the pharmacist gave me the ivy bag Fox was supposed to be treated with, and I peeled off the label, and I put it on a harmless bag of sodium chloride, just like those. Oh, so my son will not be given some hideous drug cocktail. <laughs> I am so sorry. I wasn't paying attention. Are you okay? Oh, no. The label came off a fake bag. At least the real treatment bag is in my... Damn. The real bag's mixed in with the others. The odds are 1 out of 13 that this is the bag with the treatment. I gamble. I can live with that. Don't worry. No harm done. I said I switched the bags myself. I really don't appreciate your tone, Nurse Stevens. I oh. paid you handsomely to help me. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's just that I've never played fast and loose with the patient's medications well, before. That's exactly why I was interested if you were successful in switching the medication for the placebo. I wouldn't want to think what would happen if he were to end up getting the real treatment. Me too. Are you still feeling nauseous? Oh, it seems to be getting worse. Well, in a way, it's good because that means that the, the, the treatment's working. Yeah, right. Only father was supposed to make it, so I didn't get the treatment Dr. Russell prescribed, but a placebo instead. You gotta just keep remembering that having this, this treatment, you know, it could add days, weeks, maybe months to your life. Precious time with, with me and Maria. That's why I'm doing this. So buy more time. I can't believe Fox has taken his slow and painful death act this far. Now he's even faking nausea. In case by it. Mm, it's gonna be okay, honey. I know it, it, it's it's making you sick, but that's just the medicine coursing through your body. It's killing what's killing you. Oh my God, that was uh, amazing. You're a machine just now, Charlotte. My very own love machine. Oh, shut up. It was what it was. Yeah, that's not what you were saying a few minutes ago. Huh. Oh, give it to me, Chad. Give it to me. All right, that's, that's enough. Damn it. Whatever, man. But you know, this time is the best time ever. And that's saying a lot, considering how much we can't get enough of each other. Yes. Well, guess what, Vincent? I've had enough of you. It's over between us. For good. Ooh, say it again like you mean it. I do mean it, damn it. But I hate this, and I hate you. There's a thin line between love and hate, Jack. And I got the proof that you love me. Right here. I get to see the look on Whitney's face after she sees what you and I have been up to. <laughs> well, don't worry, Jane. Miles will be down in Crane Daycare waiting for you when we get back. It's just that your mommy wanted to see you and your brother for a little while at her office, okay? Will Uncle Ethan be there, too? Um, I don't think so. I mean, he's really busy right now helping out your uncles, Luis and Miguel. Oh, I really wanted to see him. Well, you know, you'll see him tonight at the mansion, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's so great having Uncle Ethan and Jane live with us now. Hope we stay together forever. Yeah. And Teresa hopes so too. Okay.
delivery for Mrs. Crane. Yeah, you can just, uh, just go ahead and put that on the table and, um, right. I'm going to get you your, your, your cake, okay? You can keep your money, sweetheart. It's only one tip I'm interested in. Lopez Fitzgerald, this is Harmony PD. Come out with your hands up. Damn it. They figured out I was here. I called them this morning when I saw your picture in the paper. <laughs> See for yourself. Now turn around, put your hands in the air, like the cop told you to. But I'm innocent. I'm being set up. Now tell it to the jury. I'm going to turn you into your friends and get a nice reward. I'm telling you, I didn't do anything. I get the same amount of money, whether you're dead or alive. Okay. All right, you made your point. Come out now, Louise. This is your last chance to surrender. Do it or die. Feeling worse, aren't you? Uh. Hey, do you think some some ice chips might help soothe your stomach? It couldn't hurt. Okay, I'll go get some. I'll be right back. Something's wrong. There's no way the placebo should be making me feel like this. Okay, we need to talk. No, not now. Fox is really nauseous from the treatment. I've got to get him some ice cream. Come on, Kay. He's faking it so you feel sorry for him so you don't leave him to be with me. You don't ever stop, do you? No, and I'm not going to until you know I'm right. Uh, look, I can't listen to this right now. Fox is waiting for me. Fox is playing you, Kay. I'm not just going to wait around for you to talk to me when our future's at stake. Kay! You can lie to me. You can lie to Whitney. But stop lying to yourself. You love our time together. No, no, I told you. This is not about love. This is sex. Just sex. Okay, if that's true, then, uh, why aren't you at a bar every night picking up guys? This is too risky. Someone might see me. I mean, Whitney's friend already did. So, why not order in? Boston's full of guys willing to travel to give honey for money. <laughs> You're missing the point here, Vincent. I am not gay, and I am not in love with you. Right, this is just an arrangement that worked for me when I thought I couldn't be with Whitney once she joined the combat. Yeah, denial ain't just a river in Egypt. <laughs> you know what? No more talking. We're through. And I'm leaving. Wait, 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 wait. Fine, fine. Uh, if you have to lie to yourself, then fine, what, what, whatever. No, but, but that doesn't mean that we have to stop seeing each other. Yes, it does. Look, I can't do this anymore, man. I won't. You hear me? I won't. Yes, yes, you can. You're mine. And I can't let you go. I cannot stop thinking about last night. And correct me if I'm wrong, but it was really good. It was like, it was like perfect, wasn't mm, it? Perfect, yeah. yeah. Thank you for the roses. And they're beautiful. They're all right. They're not as beautiful as you are. Hello, Whitney. I'm grateful to your mom, just like I hope you'd be. Whoa, hey, sport, how you doing, buddy? Good Great. to see you. I love your new magic trick. A magic trick? Well, I can't wait to see it. There's my little girl. Hi, baby girl. Um, I had uh, Whitney bring up the kids to play for a little while. Not that you happen to be here. <laughs> well, I can't wait to see your magic trick. Yeah, yeah, I want to see this thing. Come on. Keep your eyes open, Janie, because he's about to dazzle us. Whoa! No! Where did that come from? Oh, my God. David Copperfield, eat your heart out, huh? Oh. That was good. <laughs> this, is, this is it. This is, this is my dream. You know, even being here with our children and that black noise just, just keeping it from coming true. 
I know, honey. I'm so sorry. I just wish you could be happy, you know, like Chad and I are. You know what? I can be. I'm going to ignore the blackmailer's threat so that I can be with Ethan. Get a move on. I want to collect that reward money pronto. I'm telling you, I am being set up. You know that I am Luis Lopez Fitzgerald. I did not buy the hydrochloric acid or the duct tape or the skeleton key. Time's running out, Luis. Exit the store with your hands up and be quick about it. If that's true, it'll come out in court. Meanwhile, I want to just collect my money for turning you in. So it's nothing personal? No, of course not. Uh, this isn't personal either. What, are you threatening me again? Are you saying you're going to blow the whistle on us if I don't see you anymore? I don't want to threaten you. I just want to make out with you. No. So those nice, strong hands, soft, wet lips. Look, if I tell you one more time, it's over between us. Don't be silly, Chad, all right? Come on. We're giving something to each other that women can't, okay? Look, I know you can't help it caring for me, but I don't care about you. Look, okay, I'm sorry, okay, if you can't admit it. And I'm sorry if I put too much pressure on you. But you show me how much you love me every time we're together. Yeah, well, whatever I gave you in the past is over. Ugh, don't be stupid, Chad. Okay, as long as no one has caught us doing what we're doing, there's no reason to stop. Okay? And every reason to keep on keeping on. Yeah. Hello? Hey, beautiful. Oh, it's Valerie. <clears throat> no, I'm, I'm, I'm working. What are you up to? Okay. That's good. Oh, that sounds interesting. Yeah, you're gonna have to tell me more about it over dinner tonight. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, baby. Bye. Well, that was Valerie. She's, uh, working on something for Julian. wonder what it is. Well, I don't care. You know what? You focus on Valerie so I can focus on Miles and Whitney. We're through, Vincent. Finished. Well, you know what? I wish I wish we could play here all day. I wish we could, but mommy and daddy have to get to work. Oh, um, we can stop by daycare in a little bit. Okay, okay. You know, I can take them to daycare on my way back to the office. Oh, Ethan, thank you so much. Yeah. Um. Thank you. Come here for a sec. Mm -hmm. Last night was really great. Really, I. I realized last night that you were right all along. We belong together. We're a great family. You, me, Jane, and all these Thank you. Where are you going? Okay, come on, sport. Did you hear that? Ethan said, I have been right all along that we should be a family with Jane and little Ethan with me. Do you have any idea how long I've waited to hear that? I mean, years. Mm -hmm. And it's here. It is really here. I mean, Gwen is going to divorce Ethan, and he is going to be free to be with me. Yeah. It's just that the blackmailer wants you to marry Jared. God, I just wonder why, you know? Well, because he wants Ethan all to himself. What, what do you think, he's gay? <laughs> I guess. But Ethan's not. No, I know, I know, and that's what I don't understand why he wants to be with Ethan. Why can't he just find a guy who likes guys? Unless. What? The blackmailer's a woman. I thought about that. I have, I have, I have. No, you know what? Mm. The bottom line is this blackmailer, whoever he or she is, is trying to keep me from being with Ethan, okay? Now, how can I just turn my, my back on the chance to be happy with Ethan and our children? Yeah, but you just have to imagine the consequences. Don't I deserve to be happy? 
But will you be if Luis and Miguel end up in prison because you turned your back on them to be with Ethan? I will find a way to help my brothers. Honey, how are you going to do that? If it comes out that little Ethan is not a crane, you're going to lose all your power as Alistair's widow. You know what? I'll take my chances. Look, all I know is I cannot lose this chance at happiness with Ethan and our children. Sir, are you all right? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. Oh. Where's Luis? Yeah, but he, he got away. Did you wound him? I don't know. Surround the area. Luis escaped. Don't let him get away. Oh, God, that was close. All right, now I just need to get back into hiding without getting killed. say that I haven't heard like a dozen times. The truth, Kay. The truth. And I'll repeat it over and over again until you believe me. Fox isn't sick. Oh my God, what are you talking about? I heard his stomach churning and he's sweating really bad. You know what? His father snuck him a hot pepper or something because he's not dying of a terminal illness. And he's not receiving some super duper medical treatment, Kay. That bag is filled with water or gin or something. Right. Fox let them insert a catheter into his chest just to look the part. You know what? The guy's crazy. I wouldn't put it past him. Okay, you know what? You're crazy. You are so crazy jealous that I have decided to stay married to him. You know what? It's driving me nuts that you think he's actually dying, Kay. I'm gonna say this one more time. Fox is sick, and he's getting sicker. I mean, do you, do you really think that he would just go through all this just to hold on to me? Yes, I do. I think Fox would rather die than lose you, Kay. Drop the act, son. It's only me. I'm not acting. Oh, this is all I can do to not throw up. What the hell is in this stuff? Well, it's a harmless placebo. Oh, no way. Yes, I checked with the nurse, and she assured me that she she switched your 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 prescribed medicine for a placebo. Oh, well, I feel so sick then. Mind is playing tricks on you, you know, power of suggestion and all that. I couldn't be this sick if I tried to, Father. Well, it must be, it's, it's, it's nerves. You're obviously worried that Kay is going to find out that you lied to her and she's going to leave you for Miguel. Oh, yeah, maybe it's nerves, but I started feeling nauseous not long after Nurse Stevens started this placebo. Listen, I, I paid that woman a fortune to switch your, your medicine to a placebo. Now, why wouldn't she follow through? I don't know, maybe she's incompetent. Maybe, maybe Miguel got Teresa to pay Nurse Stevens off to, to switch the bags around and not give me the placebo. Just don't be absurd. She did switch your medication. I mean, what is dripping into your body from that bag is completely harmless. Did I hook up the wrong bag after all? I, I couldn't have. Could I? Luis, are you in here? Luis, look, it's Ethan. Are you in here? Oh, God. There. And I'm in one piece. Did you mind telling me what the hell is going on? You're all over the news, man. Tell me about it. Found the hardware store. The attacker bought the acid that he threw on Fancy. The problem is the guy recognized me and called the cops. Really got out of there alive. Oh, no, man, if things were bad before, they're worse now. Luis, look, you got you got to turn yourself. No, in. you know, Ethan, what I have got to do is find the guy that's setting me up, making it look like I raped Fancy and killed Ray. So get this, the guy at the hardware store. Yeah. He sold acid to another guy who was posing as me. He had a fake ID and everything. Are you kidding me? No. 
That's why I'm telling you, I've got to prove that I'm innocent now more than ever. Yeah, but you being on the run like this, it makes you look guilty, Louise. Yes, I, I can't even think about that now. Look, let... Turn yourself in. Let me help you with this. You got to remember, we got your sister on your side. And all that crane money and power, I tell you what, we can pull a lot of strings. Yeah, well, it's going to take a lot more than that to get me out of this. Look, don't underestimate the power that she's got right now. As Alistair's widow, she can move some mountains if we need to do it. Yeah, well, all that sounds great. But I know the only way that I'm going to get out of this is to find the person that is setting me up so that I can clear my name. Look, you know I love Louise and myself. I mean, they're my brothers, okay? And I was going to give up on Ethan. Bye-bye not telling him the truth that little Ethan is really his son. Just so that I could help them, so that I could be in charge of the Empire, so I could have the money and power to keep them from going to prison. But now, you know, things are different. I mean, Gwen has decided she wants to divorce Ethan. I have the chance to finally be with him. But I got this blackmailer who's demanding that I sacrifice my happiness for reasons I don't even understand. So what am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to just give up on my dream of a life with Ethan to help my brothers? Or do I actually follow my heart and be with the man that I love and hope that his skill as an attorney keeps my brothers out of prison? Honey, I don't know. Okay, I, I really don't know what to tell you here. This decision, it's all on you. Maybe I won't have to decide anything. You know, maybe I can find another way. Oh, man, this can't be good. Oh. Mama, what, what, what is it? What's wrong? Have you not seen the news? No, I, I haven't. The police have your brother trapped in some hardware store. And there's been at least one gunshot report that your brother could be wounded, or worse. Oh, my God. Let me go check the news for updates, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I cannot. I, I just cannot lose another son. I already lost Antonio. I just no, can't. No, Mom, do please, just don't, don't do that way, okay? Luis is going to be just fine. We have to have faith that things are going to work out for Luis and Miguel, Mama. That's all, okay? My sons are good boys. I mean, they would never commit these crimes they're accused of. I know, Mama, I know. Thank God for you. Oh, my God, you are their only hope, Mia. Their only hope to be proven innocent. Look, I, I am doing everything I can. I, I can't believe I'm going to say this right now, but... I'm glad you married Alistair. Oh, God. What? I, I just... Because if, if you had not become his wife, and he had made little Ethan his heir, you wouldn't have all this crane power and money to, to help your brothers, because without all that, we would be lost. Surely your brothers would go to prison for crimes they didn't commit. You, I mean, you are their angel right now. You and you alone can help your brothers from having a horrible fate. If Luis hasn't met his fate already. Hey there, sweetheart. Hey. Oh. I've been looking all over for you. I thought maybe you went down to Crane Daycare to spend some time with Miles or something. Yeah, no, I was uh, I was out at a merger meeting. I just got back. Oh, well, how'd it go? Um, well, it's too soon to tell if they've accepted my terms, but they've been giving me a hard time up until now, so. Well, I'm sure you'll end up on top. I mean, you always do. <laughs> Morning, folks. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Oh, never been better. Uh, my day got off to an amazing start. The early bird really does catch the worm. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait a second. I think you got a scoop on a big story. Is that what it is? Ah, uh, my lips are still, but if I do, trust me, it's huge. I've got to get to work. Uh, hey, have either of you guys seen Valerie? Um, she, she called me earlier, wanted to get together. Sorry, I, I haven't seen her. Neither have I. Mm -hmm. All right, well, she'll turn up. Uh, hey. Thanks again for setting me up with Valerie. She's... she's incredible. <laughs> well, good. Good. I'm really happy for you. Hey, you know, uh, we should all get together for, for dinner. You know, just, just the four of us. I think we should. That's, that's a great idea. Because um, I think I've misjudged Valerie, and I, I kind of want to make it up to her. <laughs> great. Then uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. All right. All right. You guys have a nice day. You too. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, for a sleazy tabloid reporter, Vincent's not bad, huh? <laughs> <laughs> it's 
sometimes I wonder. You are so jealous of Fox that you're not even thinking straight right now. I mean, do you honestly think that he would undergo a, a medical treatment with such horrible side effects if he weren't really sick? How do you know Fox is actually in the treatment? Oh, my God. I saw the nurse hook up his IV. Yeah, but how do you know the nurse wasn't paid off by Fox or Julian to switch it for saline other than the treatment Dr. Russell prescribed? Oh, my God. Everything's like a conspiracy to you. No, everything's not a conspiracy, Kay. Everything having to do with the cranes is. I'm going to get back to Fox, okay? Listen to me. Listen to me. I need you. Okay? I love you. And you love me, Kay. Miguel, don't do Look, this. Look, I will fight for you until we're together again as a family with Maria. Fox is waiting for Listen me. to me. Fox is playing you, Kay. Maybe he does love you in his own twisted way. But it's not the way you need to be loved. And it's not the way I love you. I can't do this Listen right to me. now. I know you still love me, Kay. And Fox has tried everything to make you doubt me. Even hate me. Look at me, but deep down you know better. You know I'm not the green-eyed monster he's making me out to be. I love you. And I'm the guy you loved your whole life, Kay. Your whole life. I mean, could you really have been so wrong all that time? Answer me. Tell me you don't still love me. You lied to me. Over and over. I lied to you once. Once, Kay. Once about kissing Charity. That's it. Okay, I can't take this anymore. Just leave me alone. I have to get back to my husband. Just don't want Fancy seeing me hauled off to jail again. I understand, but if you don't turn yourself in, you could wind up being brought to the morgue in a body bag. You want Fancy to see that? No, not really. But if I'm in jail, I'm cut off from Fancy. I'm cut off from my loved ones. How the hell am I supposed to prove that I'm innocent? All right. Being on the run is bad enough, but under no circumstances can you contact Fancy at all. I'm serious. I mean, it would, be, it would make things much worse for her. I just don't want her to think that I'm a monster. You're a fugitive now. You contact Fancy and someone finds out that she didn't turn you in, she could be jailed too, oh, Luis. All right, all right. You're right. I just need to, to find some way to prove that Miguel and I are both being set up, that's all. Look, I believe you. Teresa believes you. Your family believes you. And I think in her heart, Fancy knows that you're innocent, too. I sure hope so. <sighs> just afraid I'm never going to clear my name. Now, what does it seem like there's always something or someone coming between us and the people we love? I don't know. I mean, your sister and I, we've been going around and around for years now. I'm just hoping whatever's been keeping us apart is finally over. I just want to be a family with her. That's all I want. I'm well, happy for you guys. Maybe some of your good luck will rub off on me and Fancy. Don't bet on it, please. Unless you want to lose. Just wait, please. Damn it, Miguel. Do I have to call security and have them make you leave me alone? I mean, it's not me you're trying to avoid, Kate. It's the truth. You belong enough, with me, not Fox. Enough, enough, Listen, I'm not going to stop until you admit I'm right. You love me as much as I love you, Kate. You know what? Take love out of this. What about trust? Because how can I believe a word you say when I know you've lied to me? Listen to me. Except for the fib about not kissing Charity, I've told the truth about everything. Fox is the one that's lying about everything. He lied about me hitting him with my car, about me sleeping with Charity, and this whole terminal illness thing is just an act to guilt you into staying with him, Kay. Oh, my God. Thank God, huh? You never told Ethan that little Ethan is his son. Because otherwise, you would have lost all the power you have as Alistair's widow. Power that you can use to help keep your brothers out of prison. What a beautiful girl. This family's hopes and dreams rest solely on your shoulders. I know, it's a shame that such a burden has to be on you, but at least you're in 
you're in a position to, to make a real difference in your brother's lives. Because these days, without power and money, <laughs> our justice system isn't just at all. Laura, I'm glad you're here. I am. Um, oh, it's about Louise. I have some news. I have some news, yes. Is he all right? He's fine. As a matter of fact, he was just here. Well, I want to see him. He can't. He, he had to leave. It's not safe for him here. I tried to get him to turn himself in. He absolutely refuses. He's determined to prove his own innocence. Well, or die trying. I will say this. It's becoming clear that someone is going to great lengths to set Luis up. Miguel thinks he's being set up, too. By Julian, no doubt. We don't know who it is, but whoever it is, whoever attacked Fancy and murdered Ray has done a first-rate job of framing Luis. Yeah. The only good thing is that your brothers have you in their corner, Teresa. I know. I was just telling Teresa the same thing, huh? She is this family's only hope for justice. But you know, Ethan, he's a wonderful lawyer. I mean, I, I know you can help them better than I can, Mom. Please. It takes more than a good attorney to win in court these days, right? Especially with Julian pulling all his strings to make sure that your brother stayed behind bars. No, Teresa, we have to fight fire with fire. It's the only way that Luis and Miguel will get justice. Your mother's right. The evidence against your brothers is so overwhelming. There's only so much I can do. And it's going to take the power that you have as the head of Crane Industries to clear this mess up. Because without it, Teresa, I think your brother's might end up spending the rest of their lives in prison. Oh. <laughs> Back to square one. Choosing between my brother's freedom or my future with Ethan. Oh. <coughs> it's okay, honey. It's okay. I'm, I'm here. I'm back. I'm not going anywhere. Why did you see me like this? Oh, stop it. I'm your wife, and I love you, and I'm going to help you get through this. Uh -oh. I'm not leaving your side. Not now, not ever. <coughs> Why can't I shake the feeling that something isn't right about this? She's doing. No. Damn it, Ethan's right. Contact with Fancy is going to put her in a bad position. I just got to leave her alone. Oh, damn it. I ain't being cut off from the woman that I love. Just have to prove I'm innocent together. So I'm really, um, my brother's one chance to avoid prison, right? I hate to say it, Teresa, but yeah, you are. I mean, the, between the evidence against them and Julian's determination to bring your brothers to what he believes is justice, the situation doesn't look good for them without you as the head of Crane Industries and the power that you have. Without you making phone calls, calling in favors, and pulling some strings, Luis could... he could get the death penalty. That's what I was afraid of. Look, I'm, I'm sorry to bring this kind of news, but I, I should get back to work. That's okay. Thank you. Thank you for letting us know that Luis is all right. You're welcome. Um... Listen, on a slightly happier note, I would love to have dinner with you tonight and maybe, maybe talk about her future. Sure. Yeah. I love you. I love you. I guess I should go, too, huh? Yeah. Oh, uh, well. Don't kidding me. Thank you. Huh. Thank you, my angel. Thank you for using your powers, Alistair Widow. We're all very grateful, huh? God, 
bad. Why can't anything just be easy? Okay. I just saw Ethan get on the elevator. And I have to say, honey, he looks so much in love. <laughs> Well, about that, I actually wanted to ask you if you could do me a favor. Anything, babe. What is it? I was wondering if you could be my matron of honor at my wedding. Me? Are you kidding me? Of course I will. So this means you and Ethan no. are? No. No, I'm going to marry Jared. And after, you know, he recovered from having surgery after being shot. Okay, wait, wait. What about this being your only chance to ever have a life with him? What about all of that? You know, I don't, I just don't have a choice. I, I can't. I gotta do the black metal walk. I have to marry Jared. Honey, are you sure about this? I can't be with Ethan. You're not at the price of my brother's freedom. <laughs> <laughs> 